So, so in e Internet uh, 4.0, um, everything's connected by Ethernet. Right now we have a PLC, and you'll see there are no hardwire buttons. Just a lot of Ethernet cables because we have everything controlled by this uh, human-machine interface or touchscreen. And what it's going to do is control this robot right here. And actually what the robot's going to do is run a palletizer program in order to stack on a pallet. But as you can see, right here, so go ahead, I'll let uh, the student do this. He's going to enable everything, and you can see everything change. Reset faults. And you can see now the robot is going. And it's just basically assuming it's taking boxes off a pick position and then stacking them onto a pallet. And if you hear a loud noise come on, it's the compressor. Hopefully it doesn't turn on using a vacuum gripper. Um, the student here used a position offset register to uh, teach one position and then run things. And if you notice, here's the job that he's running. There's a palletizing program. So you can see this is a pretty complex setup. Across the room, and across the room, on another trainer, we have a light that is, being, is basically operating as a heartbeat. So every 30 seconds, it's going to turn on and off from that other processor. Pretty cool. It should turn off probably in no time. But this light is being controlled by this PLC, being controlled by Ethernet, by the PLC way across the room over here. So cool stuff here happening at Ivy Tech in Richmond. And now it turns off at the worst possible time. So, and look, no more light. <laughs>